Is your iPhone camera not working like this? If yes, then in this video, I'm going to show you five different ways to fix it without erasing your iPhone data. Let's get started. As you can see here, I have an iPhone X with camera problem. The problem with this phone is camera of this iPhone is not working. The face ID and flashlight and everything works perfectly fine. See, the face ID and other stuff works perfectly fine. But when I open the camera app, the back camera of this iPhone works perfectly fine. There's no problem with it. But when I switch to front camera, it turns black. See, nothing is happening. Okay, our first method is force restarting the iPhone. The method of force restarting is different for different iPhone models. For example, if your iPhone is from iPhone 8 or above model, then you have to press volume up, volume down, and then keep press and holding the power button. Your device will turn off, and whenever you see this Apple logo, just release the power button. If you are using iPhone 6 or older models, then you have to press and hold home button and power button in order to force it started. And if you are using iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, then you have to press and hold volume down button and power button together. And again, same story. Just keep press and holding these two buttons and your device will turn off. And whenever you see the Apple logo, just release everything and see if your problem is fixed or not. So try this method by yourself. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then don't worry. Just keep watching the video and I'm pretty sure one of these methods will help you fix your iPhone's camera problem. Our second method is resetting all the settings of your iPhone. So first of all, head over to your iPhone settings, select general, scroll all the way down, select transfer or reset iPhone, select reset, and from these options, select reset all settings, type your iPhone passcode. After that, select reset all settings, and then wait for your iPhone to restart. Once your iPhone is restarted, all your iPhone settings will be reset. Don't worry, it will not erase your iPhone's data. Once your iPhone is restarted, now check the camera if it's working or not. See, mine is currently not working. This method didn't work for me. All right, now let me show you the third method. Our third method is using a software. For this method to work, you need a Windows or a Mac computer with active internet connection. And after that, you need a software called iMovie AnyFix. You can get it from the link given in the video description below. So just click on free download and install the software into your Windows or a Mac computer. And after installing it, open it up. Once open, click on system repair. Next, make sure you select the first option. As you can see with this software, you can fix all these iPhone problems that are listed here. After that, click on start now, click continue. This software gives you three options to fix your iPhone's problem. The first option is standard repair. If you fix your iPhone's problem using this option, then this option will not erase your iPhone data. The second and third option will erase your iPhone data. If you want to fix your iPhone's problem without erasing its data, then you should select the first option and click on this green button. The next step is getting your iPhone into recovery mode. This software gives instructions for all the iPhone models. In order to put your iPhone into recovery mode, first of all, connect it to your computer using a USB cable. Next, press volume up, volume down, and then keep press and holding the power button. All you have to do is get your iPhone into the screen by following the instructions provided by the software. After putting your iPhone into recovery mode, if you come back to this page, just click on start now and do everything repeatedly. After that, you will get to this page. Now this software will ask you to download latest version of iOS for your device. As you can see, according to the software, I have to download iOS version 16.7. In your case, it will be different. And there are two ways to download the firmware. The first option is downloading the firmware through the software and it will start downloading the firmware. And the second option is downloading the firmware through a browser. If you click on the first link, it will open up your default browser and it will start downloading automatically. So I'm going to cancel it because I already have one. So I'm going to select it by clicking on the second link. After downloading or adding the firmware to the software, just click on fix now and it will start repairing your device. This entire process takes 15 to 20 minutes max. So be patient. And also during this process, do not disconnect your iPhone. 
Just let the software do its job. While this process is taking place, would you please like this video and share it with your friends? For you, like and share is just a matter of clicks, but for me, it means a lot. So thank you so much if you do. Once the repairing process is completed, this software will give you this message. Just click on OK and close the software because your job is done with the software. And on the other hand, just unlock your iPhone with your passcode and see if the camera problem is fixed or not. So let's see. This is the back camera and let's switch to front camera. Oh yes, it's working as you can see. It's working fine. I can take photos. I can record videos. I can do anything. And also, I will have all my files saved on my iPhone. See, these are my photos. These are all my apps. None of them are touched. So yeah, that's how this method works. Okay, before I show you the next method, there is something that you should know about the software that I used in this method. The software I used is not free, you have to purchase it. But the question is, would you purchase the software to get your job done? Just let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. And now let me show you the next method. Our fourth method is using screen time. If your iPhone camera is restricted by screen time, then you have to turn it off. To do that, first of all, head over to your iPhone settings, scroll down, select screen time, tap on app limits. If you see the camera app on this list, that means screen time is causing the problem. So turn it off. Type the passcode of screen time. And now let's see. And now check if your problem is fixed or not. So mine was already fixed using the third method. All right, now let me show you the final method. Our fifth and last method is using a third-party camera app. Maybe your iPhone's default camera is buggy or it has some glitches. Trying the third-party camera app might solve the problem. So head over to App Store and download any camera app that you want. So in this video, I'm going to use this app called ProTech, which is one of the best camera app for iOS devices. Once again, you can use any camera app you want but I'm going to use this one. After installing your preferred camera app, open it and switch to front camera. If it's working, that's good. If not, then try the third method. As you saw, I got my problem fixed using the third method. Okay, so those were my five ways to fix iPhone camera not working problem. If you tried all those methods and none of them work for you, then your iPhone might have a hardware issue and you have two options to fix it. First, get your iPhone to a repairing shop and second, contact Apple. I recommend you to contact Apple before taking your iPhone to a repairing shop because these days, most repairing shops do is they replace original parts of your iPhone with the fake ones and obviously who wants that, right? So that's why I recommend you to contact Apple before taking your iPhone to a repairing shop. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You are all like and share means a world to me. So thank you so much if you do. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Bye.